Hey everybody, it's that time again. Another episode of the Fitted Hat Fool, the award-winning show. I'm the fool, the hats are fitted, and here we go. Today's topic, Los Angeles Angels, or Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, or Anaheim Angels, California Angels, whatever you want to call them. Now, here's the funny thing about this hat, if you want to call that funny. I'm originally from New Jersey, I'm a devil fan, and I call myself the Jersey Devil. And there's a halo on top of the hat. That's why I have a lot of angels hats. I like the halo. <clears throat> we'll cover all those in the further episodes. I was in a store one day, Ross in fact, and this hat is actually one size too big. But I like the hat so much, I was like, fuck it. You get it. Sometimes if you just like a hat so much, it's one size too big, you get it anyway. Because you don't, you don't, you might, you don't know when you'll see it again. And I got it for like, ten dollars instead of the usual forty so you know uh, that's uh, savings oh now before I go too far as you can see I'm wearing a Justice League mask and you get Wonder Woman down here uh, last night I was watching TV and there was a direct TV ad and eventually Serena Williams was in the Wonder Woman costume hitting tennis balls whoever came up with that idea to put Serena Williams in the Wonder Woman costume thank you sir or thank you ma'am brilliant idea that commercial could have gone on for at least 10 minutes and I would have had no complaint so uh, yes uh, anytime you want to put Serena Williams in the Wonder Woman costume I have no complaint um oh boy I, hell make a Wonder Woman movie with Serena Williams as Wonder Woman I'm there I'm there the first day I'm there the second day I'm there the third day I'm there as many days as I possibly can go until I realize Holy shit, I pissed away all my money going to see the same movie. So, uh, yes, more ads with Serena Williams in the Wonder Woman costume. Uh, and Venus, too. It also put him in the Catwoman suit. And... Anyway, you <laughs> get the idea there. So, anyway, now uh, all that nonsense out of the way. On to the hat. Now, by the way, this is, as I said, a Los Angeles Angels hat. I believe their first year. They, uh, when they started in 1961, this was their look. So I guess this is like a retro look. This is also the closest you're gonna uh, ever see me to wear it. It's the closest you ever see me wearing it. To. I'm really having trouble talking here. This is the closest you'll ever come to see me wearing a Los Angeles Dodgers hat. I got a Brooklyn Dodgers hat. That's another day too. On the hat, there's my bald head. And as you see on the top of the hat, you got the halo. That was a selling point for me, the halo on the top. Uh, that's that's top notch. And back there, you got the Batterman logo. And the hat is blue. The uh, L and the A are red and white. The uh, bill is red. And uh, in here, you got the 5950. And uh, there's the hat size, the uh, New Era thing. Hold on here. And... Uh, there you got the new era there and uh oh this doesn't even have the new era flag on the uh, side of this one a lot of times they do i guess uh this one doesn't so uh, there's that now uh, a big selling point for the halo for me is uh, those of you who grew up in south jersey will probably know this uh, our lady of lords hospital in camden uh, the statue of the uh, lady of lords on the top uh, has a halo and it lights up uh, blue at night so the planes can see it and uh, my great aunt used to live in Collingswood, and uh, used to go to the, when I would go to the attic in her house, I could look out the window and see the Our Lady of Lords halo. So, uh, you know, I like halo. So having this halo on top, it's kind of like I'm, I got my own halo. I'm like the Lady of Lords statue. Mind you, obviously she was in New Jersey, and uh, the angels are in uh, it's Orange County, which I had been to in case you're wondering. So it's not quite a match, but you know, so, uh, for the most part, I just don't bother with California baseball. It's just not where I'm from. But, uh, you know, the, the Angels, uh, they don't bother me. They, they had a habit of knocking the Yankees out of the playoffs. For, uh, I'm actually the Yankees fan. Back there, I am reading the Yankee years again. But uh, anyway, even the uh, 98 Yankees that won 125 games counting the playoffs were actually 6-7 and seven versus the Angels that year. Some years they just got our number. 
knocked us out of the playoffs a uh, time or two there. You know. we, yeah, twice I think. 2002, 2005. Got him back in 2009 now, so. But uh, yeah, even when I was a kid, I had a California Angels pennant that I bought at uh, Veteran Stadium some years ago. And when they were in the playoffs that year versus the Red Sox, I was I wanted the Angels to go to the World Series. I liked their logo. I liked the hat they had then, uh, which was um, blue and red with the a with the halo around it. It was a good look. I liked it. And, and they were like a strike away from knocking the Red Sox out. Like, ah, I, I'm a Yankees fan. How do I want the Red Sox to succeed? Why would I want that? I don't want them to succeed. <clears throat> now, if the Red Sox want to succeed, as in get out of Major League Baseball and go away, uh, that's fine. But uh, not likely. But that's a topic for another day, too. So, uh, hello there. Sometimes I just randomly say hi to people. Why not? So, anyway. So if the Red Sox want to secede and go to a different league altogether, nah, that would screw up the schedule probably. But what? Well, yeah, it's ridiculous. But to succeed, no, I don't want them to do that. So you know, they're, they're you know, Donnie Moore gave up the home run, and we all know that went that just went wrong all the way around there. But and then they wound up uh, you know, losing the last two in Boston, and that was it. And I was like, ah, they were. I thought they had it. So when they finally won the World Series in 2002, even though they got through the Yankees to get there, I was happy for them. Why not? I, mean, I wasn't glad they knocked the Yankees out. They won four pennants in a row. I guess sooner or later, the streak has to end. Uh, but, you know, they probably won one. The uh, you know, rally monkey got to do whatever it does. And uh, I don't think they wore this hat during that season. I think they wore the uh, the red hat with the A on it. Which, uh, I have one similar to that. We'll get to that another day. When I have worked my way through my other Angels hats. But for the time being, there's uh, this one. And there's the halo on the head. It's, uh, the halo on top of the hat is uh, ideal for a New Jersey Devils hat. So, you know, that's the whole comedy of that too. I call myself the Jersey Devil. I'm a New Jersey Devils fan. I got a hat with a halo on top. That's just hilarious, isn't it? Uh, back in 1986, I was actually uh, visiting California, and I went to uh, Anaheim. Unfortunately, the Angels were out of town, so I didn't get to go to a ball game. But uh, you know, hey, there's someone walking outside. <laughs> there they go. There's people walking outside. How about that? Uh, the Angels were out of town. I didn't get to go to a game then, but I did uh, see the stadium. And, uh, for some reason, I, there was a, a parking space that said Rams player parking uh, before they went to St. Louis before coming back. And I threw a rock at it. Ridiculous. I don't know what. I was 13 years old. 13 year olds do dumb shit. Hell, grown adults do dumb shit. I recently saw a grown adult who didn't know how to uh, count change. And I also saw another grown adult yesterday who didn't know how to slide her butt fast. So if grown adults can do dumb shit like that, I'm quite certain a 13-year-old can do a dumb shit like throw a rock at a Los Angeles Rams player's parking lot. And I don't know why. I, I like the Rams logo. I like their jerseys. I got Rams hats. I got a couple Rams jerseys. So, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> Saw a rock side of this truck and so one day someone might have been walking through that parking lot and saw a random rock and that might have been the rock I, I threw it the who knows the possibilities are endless but uh, you know that's that so anyway I hope you enjoyed this uh, rant about the uh, or, or lecture or whatever about my Los Angeles Angels hat uh, I guess if you didn't it's too late to turn back on that now you already watched it unless you have a time machine in this case, the video might look kind of like this. That's me traveling back in time, in case you're wondering. Which, uh, <clears throat> I don't think anybody has invented time travel, but who's to say they have it? Maybe they have. This video might have started out as something different. I mean, somewhere during it, someone traveled back in time and the whole thing's different. And now I'm talking about this, but before I was talking about something else. I don't know. Who knows? So anyway, 
Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button <clears throat> and that little uh, bell. To, you know, to get you the notification so you can say, hey, the fit of half full. That's not another video. Time for me to check it out. At your leisure, of course. <clears throat> no point rearranging your whole day for me. Or is there? You might want to do that. I don't know. Whatever gets you through the day, my friends. Whatever gets you through the day. Anyway, bye-bye now. Thanks for watching. So long.